Welcome back, guys. So this little booger, the infamous Dallas clock chip, of course, you know it, it's dead. So I just want to shoot a quick little video about how I fix them. I mean, you could go on to eBay or Amazon, pick one up, but you still don't know if it's going to work or not. It could be new old stock, it could actually be a new one, you don't know. So what I've done, you chip away at these two parts here. I just use my little pocket knife here. Sorry about the weekly video. So I just use a little pocket knife there and kind of chip away at it until I get down to the metal parts inside there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in close enough to that to actually show it. And maybe. Uh, you can see it's right there underneath the solder. You expose that enough on there to be able to put a solder point on it and uh, solder some wires onto it. And obviously the red one's positive, the black one's negative. I do that on purpose so that way if I have to replace it, you know which to hook up to your battery. I always mark it right there at the top too. Is it can get confusing. Something else, whenever you're pulling these out of the motherboards, either mark on a piece of paper where it is, or better yet, use your phone, take a picture of it, so that way you know exactly which way it goes in. So it does have the dot there, but that doesn't t always tell you exactly which way it went in. Some of the motherboard manufacturers didn't mark it. So, simple fix there. And of course, be careful when you pull these out, they will stab you. So then, I got the uh, 2032 coin cell battery here. And I'm just going to hook it up to these two wires here. And I'm just going to tape it down for now. Eventually, if I end up keeping this computer that I'm using it in, I might invest in putting a coin cell holder attached to the wires. I don't know yet. Alright, I'm going to put this down and get it all set up and show you. Okay, so I got some double sided sticky tape here. This 3M brands, stuff I had laying around. So I'll peel that part off. And on the coin cell battery, I'm going to put the strip enough wire back to where I can lay that on top of it. I'm just going to hold it in place for now. Remember, this is only a temporary fix. This is nothing permanent. I want camera focus. So the top of the battery is positive. The bottom, right there on the buttons, is going to be negative. So you're going to want to put this right there on top of that. And the sticky tape, for the most part, is going to hold that on there. Push it down good and tight. Now for this part, I got some electrical tape that I'm just going to place over the top of it. So let me get this all set up. Whenever you're peeling away that plastic on the Dallas clock chip, you want a fairly sharp, sharp knife to be able to whittle in there. But be careful not to cut your fingers open. You're not going to have a good time when you do that. It's no longer going to be in black, it's going to be all red. Just a little piece of electrical tape over the top of it. You now have a powered Dallas clock chip. Just a simple little fix. I've seen these chips on eBay and Amazon go for twenty, thirty dollars. They do have. There was a company making them. He's all out of stock. Last I checked, as of five seventeen, twenty twenty. But he sold one. It didn't have this top cover on, but it actually had the battery where you could replace it. He said he sold out, so. And this is temporary for me. This is just something I wanted to show you guys.
Yeah, as you can see on my finger, when it comes out, it kind of lines up there almost perfect, doesn't it? Yeah, it actually stuck in my finger quite well. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you for viewing, and hopefully I'll be able to do a video on what this is going into. Thanks again.